Hey guys, and welcome back to Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. My name is Jagoras, and in the last episode we defeated Eldane, oh, and at now... last. I'd begun to think this wood had no end. And I thought bandits knew their way round a wood. We do. Around those not brimming with elves, arms at teeth. Now we're making our way out of the moldy wood, and uh, everything is still on fire by the looks of things, which is a clear sign of Nilfgaard inhabitants. Or presence, I guess. Uh, let's get this loot. We still are looking for the uh, places on the map. Um, the, the the places on the maps that we got. Although this looks sort of promising, maybe? No. No, it's not quite right. Never mind. Ooh. What's this? I've come across many trolls in my travels. Some were friendly, eager to lend aid. Others, such as the one we've encountered in a war-torn aid and viewed humans differently. As, say, a tasty ingredient for soup. Eliminate the she-troll, keep your allies alive. Okay, we can do this. And it's a puzzle one, so I gotta, I gotta figure it out. Gotta use my noggin. Okay, what does this do? Damage the lowest unit by three. Repeat this ability until all charges are depleted. Every turn on turn start, increase charge count by one. So if she's the lowest unit, can we not just use it to kill her? After a different ally is played from hand or moved to the other row, move next to it and boost it by one. Damage all units on an enemy row by th this unit's armor amount. Okay, so we play this. I think is the first one. And then we play this one you can try to win them all but you won't then we play this one i guess at the end it's gonna zap right can't take it anymore oh played from hand shit okay we've done this wrong let's start again we definitely play so the question is, do we need do we need this guy to be boosted? Right? The question we have is, do we need this guy to deal more, or do we want to play these first? I guess we want him to be boosted, so let's play this. As you command. Then play this. We're gonna try it this way first. Naturally. At once. Then play this. But he was played from hand. It didn't work. I don't understand. Can't take it anymore. After a different ally is played from hand or moved to the other row, move next to it and boost it by one. I don't understand at all. Got any vittles? Hungry like a wolf I am. Okay, that time it worked. But that time it didn't. Do I have to like zigzag them across the rows? Okay, let's start again. I think I have to like zigzag things across the rows. Right, I definitely think, so I definitely think I have to play the the wagon and then the riders first. That seems to be sensible. I live to serve you. But I think maybe what I'm doing wrong is I don't need to play the both wagons on the one row. So if we play this one, on this row. Can't take it anymore. We can pull them across. Then play this wagon on this row. Got any vittles? Hungry like a And maybe we fire. don't use them this turn, right? So then end turn. Because then I've been using these the turn that they're available, but maybe actually what I want to do is bounce them first, like this. Then send it back. And then reset it and do that all over again. That actually seems very sensible. Okay, we're on 13. Discipline shall bring us victory. Send them back. Send them up. Send them back. Okay, so I'm one point short and I think I figured out why. So I think the issue is my positioning of Reynard. 
So what we're gonna do I live to serve you. is we're gonna play the riders Without all like this. Then we'll play one wagon on this row. Can't take it anymore. Pull them off. Then we'll play one wagon on this row. Got any vittles? Hungry like a wolf. Put them back. Then we'll move this one. Send them back. Pull them off. Send them back. Then we play this. I keep playing this to pull them off, but let's play them here. We must trust each other. Right? That puts out on 14. Pull them off. Send them back. Pull them off. Send them back. Oh, there we go. So I was just playing Reynard on the wrong row. That's all I was doing. Ah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh my god, that took me way too long. I feel so stupid right now. <laughs> oh dear. This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So instead of our current thing on the board, we get this instead. This no good, hole in Bridgie now. When Bridgie bad, Umans no go. Go, no go on Bridgie. No pay shinies, no pay shinies. Uman only good for soupy soup, splashy splash. Okay. Well, that took a little while. Uh, let's see. Let's loot this. Nice. And then check the notice board. Yeah, not bad. We'll go loot this one as well. None of these places look... The burning fields and orchards spewed thick black smoke turning day into darkest night. Riding in the middle of her caravan, Meave could see neither its head nor its rear. Reynard ordered the men to keep formation and march in silence. Eyes open, fore and aft. The foe might well use these conditions to spring a trap. When a scout's shrill horn cut through the silence, Meave immediately galloped to the front of the column. She found herself in a pile of red-hot coals that had once been peasants' huts. What the devil happened here? Bodies lay amid the ashes, barefoot men in nightshirts as if caught in their sleep. Meave deemed them yet more victims of the black-clad invaders. But Gascon had another interpretation. Look at the arrows. Imperial issue. Not hardly. Nor are they the type the Scoia'tael favor. And the tracks in the mud the attackers fought not in formation, but man to man. Bandits. It must have been. Reynard, standing next to him, nodded in agreement. Gascon can be relied on here. After all, he knows of what he speaks. An uncomfortable silence fell over the group, ending only when Meave ordered the scouts to determine the direction of the bandits' tracks. They returned to report the killers were hiding somewhere to the north. Okay, so we've got to find some bandits. I was going to say none of these places look like my maps at the moment, so we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. But anyway, let's go kill some bandits, I suppose, to the north. Temeria. That's what matters. The north. Can I not go this way? Really? Really? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to get salty. Around we go. Is there somewhere to the north we can go? I guess we have to cross this bridge. Oh, there's like a... There's like a hideout? Let's head there. That seems like a sensible place to go. Right, what are you guys chatting I'm about? I'm going no further, and I'd advise you to do the same. Bandits took the fort to the north. I was nearly home. Nearly with my dear wife. And now they're all dead. Edern, they said. You'll sell it a profit, they said. I'm going no further. I already said that. Okay, let's have a look what's up here. The demons do I get out of here? What's the matter? This place for good. Cursed land. Nothing but corpses and ash. Corpses and ash, far as the eye can see. I'm sure it'll be fine, buddy. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, smoke everywhere. Bundles of it. Stings your eyes and scratches at your throat. <clears throat> Is he just going to stay here and hide? Yeah, he's just going to stay here and feel sorry for himself, I guess. I suppose that's what he wants to do. I'm not going to stop him. You know, if you want to sit around and feel sorry for yourself, then feel sorry for yourself. Right, let's have a quick look in. Can we look in the woods first? Can I not go in here? No, apparently not. Okay, let's just knock on the bandit's door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Meave. Meave who? 
Neve of Lyria. The scouts reported the bandits who attacked the village that night now occupied a fort the Adernians had hastily abandoned during their retreat. They left crossbows, arbalists, ballistae. The bandits are armed to the teeth. What's more, according to the local folk, they had a witch among them. In light of these reports, Meave's advisors debated whether it was worth risking a fight with the brigands. Let's call it as it is, Gascon said. The game's not worth the candle. Game? Rayla said, struggling to swallow her anger. They slaughtered an entire village. We cannot let them get away. Oh, decision time. We're always gonna, we're always gonna fight. Whenever there's an option, just like avoid, avoid conflict. The like, no. The seemed set for a long debate when Meave pounded her fist on the table. I am a queen for God's sakes. I shall not cower before common rogues, even if the entire conclave of mages stands with them. Reynard, have the men prepare their arms. Reynard saluted and left the tent. If one had seen him then, he would have sworn the grizzled soldier smiled to himself, beaming with pride in his ruler. Damn straight. Damn straight. We have morals. Her countenance grim, Meave peered at the fort's walls. The seizure of the fort fortress was of no strategic importance. Indeed, some might even call it a wholly unnecessary risk, but not Meave. Rather than drive off the invaders, these brigands took advantage of the confusion to murder and steal from their compatriots. The queen refused to sit idly in the face of such depravity. Killing is not the solution to everything. Okay. Let's throw Nickers. Hey, Xavier's come out to play. We've not seen him in a little while. Uh, I think that'll do. I guess we can throw Reynard actually. Oh, we can throw we can throw Xavier because we'll just pull him with Black Rayla. I do feel like Gascon's kind of mediocre. So, Wagenberg. Nilfgaard. Surrender while you can. Oh, so we want to get them to four and then put them back in the deck, right? Let's see what else he plays first. This guy's thinking about it. Look at this AI. Your grace, I saw flashes of light inside the fort. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. But there's no leader. Oh god. I don't know. I don't know what is wise here. Let's put the regiment drummer out. Army's I was gonna move this back to the row like so that that guy gets boosted. I don't know what his cards do. This is this is scary. This is scary. Okay. Um Let's play Black Rayla now. Oh saw them. No other way. And then we'll trigger the drummer. And bomb Church. the front row. Which I think I've upgraded, so it's actually fairly likely to hit. Yes, there's a 66% chance that they get hit. I don't know if I want to use my leader ability. I think I'll hold off. The problem is if I use it, then it goes on cooldown, so I want to do that at some point. We must find a gap in the fortifications. So let's play Rayla and pull Xavier. Has ordered. Then use Xavier to give charges to Rayla. How much damage do I want to do? This guy goes back in the deck if I deal a few damage. Maybe we use this card actually to line them up. Four damage, five, six. Right. Watch. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Then we use Meave on the nines. Oh, and I use my leader ability. Oh, no. Enemy leader. I misread it. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. That's kind of annoying. I don't fully understand. Did you hear that? A kind of incantation. 
The mage, so when I kill things, they should be dead with those wounds. They got healed. Uh, that's really annoying. Okay. So I need cards that don't deal too much damage. Basically. Let's pull one of these. We're just kind of going to fill out the board. Left, the board's right, going to be too full, though. Left, right. This is the issue if we do that. Let's take a cavalry. Let's mark this guy. This is a little bit awkward. And then you deal, what, four if I put you here? So let's shoot the one on the back. I mean, we're still ahead. This is an interesting one. I think I needed to realize what happened with the killing before, you know. I mean, it did tell me, but I was like, I don't believe you. Oh no, Persia. So this card is based off of the community manager from CD Projekt Red. And apparently he's a bandit archer. I didn't realize, I didn't realize. So this is gonna deal five damage. We can do like here. And then maybe we play the soup. And we'll play this marking unit thing. And we'll mark this guy, because there's not enough turns to kill him. The problem is the fire. But potentially I can pull them out of the fire. And then they won't all get healed. Or I have to kill them all in one turn. Can't take it anymore. But I don't know if I if like that how that's gonna work out is the thing. Cause like we can kill this entire front row by doing this. And then we play Reynard. We must trust each other. Let's just see what we pull with these guys. Fire. I smell a leak. How much space do I think I have space? One another one of these guys is gonna get again, attempted more again, next turn. Again. It's gonna do one. But if we pull Rayla into a Slinger. Then we can pull these three off the row. I like how I said that killing is not the answer, but actually in this instance, I think killing might in fact be the answer. And then we trigger this one onto Rayla. We trigger this one. Take the Arbalist. Give me a time. And then end our turn. <laughs> so you can't heal anything if it's all dead. Oh wait, they just all went back into his hand! Oh no! Only a fool tries to I did not realize that. Uh... Like they all went back into his hand. I thought that they just got healed. Oh well, this is where we are. He's gonna have to play out all of his cards. Damn event hasn't a clue what he's doing. We'll play Commander's Horn. It's just move it back to your deck, but he actually goes to your hands. Let's just shoot him as well. Ha! And then pass. Right. <laughs> I was like, it's not if I kill them all, they can't heal each other. Oh dear. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm not gonna use my leader again, so that's a thing. I mean, this is more or less the exact strategy he played last all, time. But you won't. At least we have the free damage from the fire as well. Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. Oh man. I think we're still gonna win. Can't take it I'm just anymore. wondering how long it's gonna take. Like, if we kill cards, then do they not go back to his hand? No, that one died for good. To win them I don't. All, but you won't. I don't understand at all what happened there. <laughs> Oh dear. They battled long and hard to take the fort. Meave could have sworn she saw bandits stalking its ramparts. Bandits who moments before had taken a bolt to the head. By all rights, a mortal wound. What the devil is going on here? She I swore agree. she took cover behind her shield. The secret was unraveled only after the battle's conclusion. 
Neve's soldiers dragged before her a grey-haired woman in coloured robes. The aura radiating from her left no doubt. They had fought a sorceress. It was her healing spells that enabled the bandits to hold off their attack for so long. What is your name, sorceress? Ishbel of Tretagor. I take it you did not keep company with bandits willingly? Not at all. They kidnapped me and forced me to aid them. Force? Your sorceress. I do not understand. As a woman fluent in the arcana of magic, you could have freed yourself with little effort. Exactly. True. I could have. But I would have had to kill, and I swore never to use my talents to harm another. Not even in self-defense? Not even then. Then you live in truly unfortunate times. War rages all around. You cannot hide from it. So be it. Then I must entrust myself to the care of the gods. Or a passing queen. You stand before <laughs> Meave, by divine right, ruler of Lyria and Rivia. We seek the lord of these lands, Demavend. Oh, forgive me for not recognizing you, your grace. You do not look like a ruler. More like a mercenary. <laughs> Nor do you look like a sorceress. Speechy. True, my lady. Forgive me. I meant no offense. Oh, I wasn't offended. I accept your apology. And would gladly welcome you into our ranks. Truth be told, a skilled worker of magic would prove most useful to us. Thank you, my lady. But you must know, an army is no place for me. Should you wish it not, you needn't fight. We have many civilians among our ranks who... Who do their part in the slaughter. Indirect guilt is enough. My soldiers do not slaughter. They fight. Lofty words. But the result is the same. Piles of corpses. Well, a bandit I am not. I shall not force you. Reynard, prepare the men to march on. Of course, but if I may, perhaps Xavier might have a look at the war machines we captured. He may find some parts of use. Neve followed Reynard's suggestion. Xavier went to work. Yes, Your Grace. Gods. What happened to him? He was in Rosberg when the stronghold fell. Nearly burned alive. How... How are you healing him? The medics recommended regular poultices of dog's tallow, but whether they've any effect... Of course they've no effect. For such wounds. How he must suffer. Aww. I, I feel for Xavier. In the day he reveals nothing. But at night one awakes to hear him sob with pain. You see? I need healers. I shall go with you. But never shall I use magic to take a life. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I think that's fair. Yes, you have put it quite plain. And rather bluntly. Forgive me, Your <laughs> Grace. It has been long since I played the host. I forget the custom. Your spells mean more to me than your manners. Welcome to our ranks, Isbel. Isbel sat in one of their wagons and shut her tired eyes. Her long grey hair seemed to flutter ever so slightly, though there was neither wind nor breeze. Okay, so we got ourselves a healer. That's pretty cool. I feel for Xavier, you know? Like, I don't know. He's such a great character. I think, like, CD Projekt Red, does, they do such a good job of their characterization uh, and the way that they kind of make you feel for the characters and... And all that. I think I think they do a fantastic job. Anyway, my darling dears, let's talk to these people. Go to Edern, they said. I already Not spoke to these people. I think I think this is where we're gonna leave it for today. If you enjoyed the episode, maybe leave a like, and you can always subscribe to the channel for more. The ruins um, still smolder. Nilfgaard Park's not long afore. They must be close. No doubt they already knock at Aldersburg's gate. We must make haste. I'm going to stop running. Uh, beyond that, you can find me on Twitter at Jagoras and on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagoras. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and hopefully I'll catch you in the next episode.